We did it guys, we reached 1,000 subscribers on the channel. I just wanna take a moment and thank each and every one of you for watching, subscribing, and smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really means a lot and you know, to celebrate, I put together a pretty cool preset for Premiere Pro. It's called the Speed Ramping Transition Preset and you can download it in the video description down below. It's kind of difficult to speed ramp in Premiere Pro. The controls are a little clunky and even if you get settings to the way you want, you can't really save a preset in the time remapping controls and effects controllers. So it's a little frustrating, so I created this easy transition that you can easily add over any clips. So first things first, the first thing you gotta do is install the preset, go into your effects panel, go to your presets folder, untwirl the folder, right click on it and click on import presets. Then navigate to where those presets are. Now unfortunately you can't import them both at the same time, so just click on one, click on open, then do the same thing for the second one. Next, create an adjustment layer over your clips, go into your project panel, click on the new item icon and then click on adjustment layer. Click OK and then click and drag this adjustment layer to above over your clips. Then grab your razor tool, then make a cut in the cut, cut in the cut. But essentially you should have two adjustment layers here that you can apply the presets to. So go back to your effects panel. The way these work is ramp in kind of goes into the cut and ramp out kind of comes out of the cut. So apply the ramp into the first one and ramp out to the second one. Click and drag to your adjustment layer for both of these. And then when we play this back, you'll see that we have a nice speed in and speed out effect. Essentially it speeds up and then it uh, goes back down to zero in the after the cut. So when we click on this layer, you can kind of see what I did to create this preset here. I used the echo effect. And if we go to the keyframes, essentially what this is saying is it's starting at zero seconds. And then at that cut point, it's going two seconds forward in time over the span of 15 frames. So you can imagine it's speeding up essentially. And if you want to make changes, you can always change this value to maybe one or three if you want it faster or slower. And you can always click and drag this to, to make it faster or slower. You'll also notice if we scroll down here that there's a directional blur applied to add in some fake motion blur. You can always disable this if you don't want it. Now one important note is on the out, you can't start the out uh, with the underlying clip at the very beginning. I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. Say if we have this clip here and it's actually the beginning of the clip, it doesn't work. You'll notice that it doesn't do anything. That's because on this side of the effect, it's pulling from two seconds before because it says negative two. And essentially here, there is no footage before that very first cut point. So the one caveat with using this preset is it actually has to have some pre-roll in the underlying clip. So there you go guys, that's the preset. It's available down in the video description. Now it's only available for the next seven days or so. After seven days, it's gonna actually move to my newly developed Patreon page where you can subscribe and receive a lot of cool video assets and templates for Premiere Pro. You can download the speed ramp transition preset as well as an After Effects expressions and effects cheat sheet, some Mogurt files, some LUT packs, a lot of cool stuff on this Patreon page. But since you guys are the first thousand subscribers, it is available absolutely for free in the video description for the first seven days. So feel free to go grab it now. But any support is really appreciated from you guys if you do want to support me on my Patreon page. Otherwise guys, I just want to thank you again for supporting me on my journey as a YouTuber. And I look forward to creating lots more tutorials in the future.